Okay, it's been a minute and the art scene in Milwaukee and really Wisconsin has been so busy. And I have so much that I wanna share with you to take on your art journey to the next level. But first, hi, I'm Lauren Marie Nitka and this is my bite-sized podcast for artists to think like entrepreneurs. Whether you are an artist, maker, or creative entrepreneur, I believe that you will find something here that you can apply to your life. I'm so glad that I had this time away to grow in my studio practice and really my business because today we are going to be talking about how to display and sell your art because honestly, that's what I've been learning during my summer hiatus. At the end of May, I had my first solo art show at the Polish Cultural Center of Wisconsin. I grew up in the Polonia community, participating in our local folk dance group, attending the Polish Center's events, and connecting with others who are trying to keep our heritage alive as Americans of Polish descent. I remember seeing the gallery at the top of the stairs as a young girl and seeing the artwork made by other Poles, and something about it just felt special. This was my first gallery that I had really seen. So hosting my first solo show there felt like a full circle moment. Shortly after my show, I was notified that I had been accepted into the Milwaukee Artist Resource Network's mentorship program. This is a one-year program where I, as a mentee, am connected with a mentor. My mentor is Frank Juarez, an artist, photographer, publisher of Art Dose Magazine, and high school art educator. I had applied in the past two other times at different points in my art career, but I'm really glad that I wasn't accepted until now because Frank is a good fit for me as a mentor, and I'm about to begin a whole new body of work that I don't think I was ready for yet. I had a lot to figure out on my own so I could be just in the right place to take in everything. Since officially beginning this mentorship in July, I've learned a lot about putting myself out there, introducing my work to others, and being selective in where I am displaying my work. Which connects back to the Start Your Art Business checklist, which I have linked for free in the description below. We left off our last video discussing your social media presence, and now we're going to dive into where to find selling opportunities and where to display your work. When I first started selling my art, I had my website up, the sales system developed, integrated into that, which then connected into an in-person point of sales system. And all of that we've discussed in previous videos. But having a website and doing online marketing simply was not enough. I needed in-person opportunities. So I took my merchandise and smaller works of art to different craft shows in the area local coffee shop, my church, and I have one more coming up in November. While my long-term vision is not to stay in craft shows, I knew that this was a place in my local community where I could get practice introducing myself, introducing my work, my products, and start building an in-person presence. Probably the biggest vendor event I've had Uh, would be Polish Fest. Again, it was connected to my community, so it was just those little baby steps to build up my confidence and my revenue. But I really had to think about my audience. Craft shows are for small, handmade, typically less expensive work than an oil painting. I selected my merchandise and work based on the targeted audience. If you are a maker or crafter, craft shows may be your end goal, and not all craft shows are the same. Church craft shows tend to be smaller, community-based, while maker's markets can actually be pretty huge. I suggest going online, just searching upcoming craft shows or markets near you, seeing if there are annual ones that you can get in contact with somebody for future events, or search for open calls on Facebook and Google. An open call is when a venue is in search of featured talent. For me, this was just a launch pad. This is where I started. My end goal has been to be featured in fine art festivals and fairs, as well as professional exhibitions and galleries. There are two websites that I've learned about this summer that I'd recommend for finding these fine art festivals and gallery exhibitions. Call for Entry or Cafe and Zap. They are international and they also have national calls. I'll link those URLs in the description below so you can peruse and see what would fit your work. 
it's super important to start building up your exhibition and show history on your CV as a fine artist. This is what propels your career forward and gets you noticed by the art market and academics. Typically, galleries will seek you out for solo shows based on your experience, trajectory, and mutual connections, but occasionally there are open calls for proposals at galleries. Not all galleries are in the business of selling. Some are not-for-profit and more about contributing to art culture, while others are commercial, and some fall somewhere in between. One space I highly recommend for Milwaukee area artists is the Marne Marketplace, which is at the Milwaukee Artist Resource Network in the Third Ward, which is our main gallery district. If you become a creative member at Marne, you can apply to have some of your smaller works and merchandise sold and be sent information about local calls for art. All right, so I think this is where we will take a break for today. I'm preparing for an upcoming speaking engagement in Green Bay this weekend called the Business of Art Symposium. It's at Northeast Wisconsin Technical College's Artists and Business Center via Art Dose Magazine. This is my first speaking engagement, so I got a lot to prepare for. Also, I think we're gonna stick to a new video once a month just due to my schedule with being a full-time teacher. Also, as my mentorship is having a little bit more demands on me, I just need some time to take in all the new information so that way I can uh, just think about it, turn it back to you, and share with you what else I've learned. Bye.